Hello everyone! I have some super exciting news for anyone who uses the browser either like a web-based curriculum that you use or if you use it for like reading A to Z, anything that you use the browser for and you or the student write on the screen, you will want to listen to this video. So one big complaint that I had and some other teachers had was about writing on the browser. So if you open a browser and you underline or write, circle, whatever, it's a pain to have to erase everything or to highlight, delete every single time you go to a new slide or want to continue through whatever program you're using. So I tested something out today just randomly and just because I wanted to see what it looked like and I tested out, hmm, wonder how this will work with the browser. Open the browser and you're going to find out something super, super exciting. So let me open up a class. So here's my class over here. Uh-oh, let me find my student classroom. Okay, so here's my student class. I'm going to have to create a new one because the one I just had was expired. So this is my fake student. So whenever you enter a class and you have to do this in like a real classroom, you're gonna hear my iPad going off telling me that I have a class to attend. I'm going to enter. This is what you need to do to be able to easily erase on the browser. It's gonna take some time getting used to, but I'm going to try it out because this feature is going to make my life easier and your life easier if you use the browser. So over here, let me move it over here. You see down here, classroom mode. I have tested out this classroom mode, but I was like, ugh, that's crazy. I'm not gonna use that. But now I'm going to, and I'm gonna show you why. So click on large screen, okay? You're gonna notice the top where all the little buttons where you click for your camera and recording are not going to be there, but that's okay. So I'm gonna enter classroom and I'm still at the top. My buttons are gonna be now at the bottom. So I have the camera, the voice and more. So here's my settings and this is where you would record the lesson. So there's no video recorder. You have to go to more and record, which is fine. Not much different. And you're gonna notice this. This is what's gonna take a little getting used to. And the reason I tested out large screen is because I'm going to be using a web-based curriculum pretty soon. And having the tools on the right, even though I can hide them, is kind of annoying because if I like to make my curriculum large, big, fill the screen, it's going to cover my arrows to advance my lessons. So I was like, well, let me try this out where I can move these tools wherever I want and the student cannot see these tools, just uh, something to know. The student will not see this on their screen. So you can move it wherever you want and they will not see it. I can also click to make it smaller and then all the tools are here. This is something you will just have to play around with. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but it's the same tools. They're just set up a little bit differently. So I'm gonna show you what to do if you're using a browser. So here's my more, my toolbox, and here's my browser. So Browser, all the things that you open, like PowerPoint, browser, the place to drag and all the buttons are gonna be at the bottom instead of the top. I haven't had a chance to test out to see if there's a way to change that, but that's fine. It's just something else to get used to. Share sound is still there. The URL button is still there. So I'm gonna open my reading A to Z that I used today. I can still make it large screen here. Okay, now watch. Here's my brush. I'm going to write. Da, 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 da. So normally, if I went to something else, I'd have to go to click. I open my file cabinet, the writing's still there. Or if you're going through a curriculum where you have slides, the writing would stay on the screen. But watch this. There's a special little button here called undo. Click, click. It takes out each individual writing that you did. So it's doing it in pieces. Click, 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 undo. I can also restore, bring it back. <laughs> so if you write a bunch of different little things, here's an easier way to see it. It takes each one separately. Click, click, click. If I was to do just one big without letting go, undo would take it all away. I also tested as the student writing. If the student writes, I'm not gonna go grab my tablet right now, but I can assure you if the student writes, same thing. You can click undo 
and it disappears. I don't have to worry about getting my eraser out. I don't have to worry about highlighting, backspace, click. All I have to do, right, undo, and the best part is I don't have to click on the brush again. When I click undo, the brush stays there, and I can just delete everything. I don't know why this makes me so excited, but I was so ecstatic when I saw this and figured this out because this is going to make my life easier when I start using web-based curriculum. Also, I use a lot of reading A to Z and I haven't been using it on the website because I didn't wanna to have to use the browser. So I've been just putting them, copy and pasting into PowerPoint, which takes a lot of time. Now I don't have to do that. I can just open reading A to Z and I can write on the screen and just undo. I hope everybody else is excited as I am about this because as you can tell, I am super excited. Hopefully this will help a lot of people. So have fun using the browser. Bye everyone.